Hi, I'm Nagesh Babati with Quest AI. Today I'm going to show you how to convert something like this into a working code component. Right, so this is a hand-drawn sketch um, that I have on the back of a napkin. Took a picture of that and I bring that into Quest. This is Quest app at app.quest.ai. Simply upload that um, into Quest and just to confirm that's the one. And this is what Quest created. So first of all, this is a React.js component that's running on the browser um, and it's re responsive. The models figured out what are the various elements on this uh, uh, screenshot and uh, they laid them out um, with uh, responsive behavior uh, for different screen sizes, right? So let's take a look at the code quickly. Great, so this was the code generated. Um, as you can see, this is the component code. Um, it, it, number one, figured out the various elements on, on this layout and uh, created them. Uh, the, the second and important thing is, uh, this is these elements are built according to your design system and component library. In this case, um, I'm using MUI, so this imports MUI and you're able to generate the code based on your MUI design system. And this is my uh, design specifications in terms of uh, the button colors and the themes and so on. Um, you can use Chakra, you can use uh, your own custom design system as well, um, and that gets integrated into the code automatically. And if you look at the, the file structure, these were all the files that we generated as part of this component. Um, it generated um, uh, the app structure, um, the design theme files here, as well as the assets. Um, so if you're starting off with a new app, you can have the entire app created for you, and so you can just launch this. Um, or if you already have working on an existing app, you can just export uh, the, just the components, the new components that we built using Quest. Um, so pretty much my front end is done. Uh, just in a couple of clicks. So I can just push this to my GitHub um, or I can also download this code if I wanted to. Um, now, let me show you one more thing. So um, in addition to generating the front end, the presentation layer, um, let's say you want to add some functionality. Um, let's say you want to validate the email address that uh, users enter. So using this text prompt, all I have to say is something like valid, validate email. Great, this is the code that's generated. Um, it looks like it generated a new use hook file uh, with the logic here. Uh, in this case, it generated some kind of a logic to, to look for any custom characters, uh, special characters like dollar sign or abstract sign and validate them. And all of this, uh, the, the newly generated code was seamlessly integrated into the existing code, all the functions and the elements and all of those folded in nicely into the presentation layer. Um, so this is, uh, I can continue to prompt more and generate more and more code, uh, but I also have the flexibility to hand code um, and write my own um, extended logic on top of this. Once I'm done, I can hit my uh, process to my GitHub or download this and I continue to work on it. Thank you.